Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Now, Travis and I were driving along the road earlier after a pretty heavy rainstorm. As you can probably tell behind me how the clouds are really dark. It's really windy. But uh, Travis and I were driving along the road when we noticed that there was some serious erosion going on out of a field that was not that far from the main farm. Um, we were just driving along and we saw that there was water running out of a field down into the pasture below it then out onto the roadside ditch, which was going down into the creek. And what was happening was we had a really heavy rainfall. I mean, there's probably like a good, maybe three quarters of an inch, probably more than that, that fell within maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So um, what happened was that the rain came down into that field and it came all pouring down into the pasture below it all at one time. I don't know if maybe some dirt gave way that allowed the the water to escape all at once and that's why we saw what we saw <laughs> but um, yeah what, ha what was happening was the water was hitting the field and as the water was hitting the ground the raindrops were picking up bits of dirt and it was biting into the ground and it was flowing downhill into the pasture below it which was grass so what happened was once it hits that hit that grass in the pasture the water slowed down and this is where you'll get a lot of deposition really because the slower water moves the more junk in it i.e. soil that it tends to deposit and this is why waterways are really crucial I get a lot of questions people asking me you know what are these grass strips in your fields well what you're seeing is exactly what is, what those are there to prevent or reduce at least and you can tell from the footage that as the water was crawling across the grass you know, once that someone obviously cut that it was actually really slowing it down. And in your fields, you don't have that, especially around here in the Driftless region. Um, we have hills and a lot of people don't know what contours are because they're not familiar with it. And that's what waterways are specifically meant to reduce right there. Um, that is a perfect example of, of either a waterway that was failing or one that wasn't in use maybe. But um, yeah, waterways aren't really a kill all for everything. So as heavy as the water was earlier, I wouldn't really say that they didn't have one. Um, it just could have been that heavy. But I've never really seen it before just come rushing out of a field like that. I actually had to tell Travis to stop and back up to take some footage of it because it was really interesting to see. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to make that clear onto why we have waterways and to give you guys a living example of what what they're meant to stop or at least slow down because after the rain dries up and it floods away uh, where that water had slowed down in the waterway it'll deposit that dirt there and over time the ground will slowly start to rise up and that's something that's really interesting as well so um anyway thanks for, thanks for watching i just wanted to let you guys see that and uh, be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and i uh, will see you next time